This is a tutorial on how to edit your Seesaw activities. So when you purchase something from us that has more than one activity and you would like to delete some of the slides, this is going to show you how you do that. So once you purchase the activity, you will have a PDF that will send you to a link to the Seesaw activities. Here are the activities in Seesaw. So as soon as you get it, instead of assigning it to your class right here, you can click these three dots, edit or copy and edit the activity. Now this will allow you to change the title, change the student instructions. You can delete our instructions that we recorded and you can delete slides from the template. So for this one, if I just wanted to do the first activity and sign it to my students, I might title this, say and type spelling words. I'm going to leave the instructions here and then I'm going to edit the templates. So right now, this is the only one that I want to assign to my class but all these other ones are still in the activity. You can go ahead and just delete each slide by clicking the three dots and delete all of them out. It will take a second. You could leave multiple slides in if you wanted them to do maybe three of the word work activities for the day or five, whatever number you want to assign your class, but all 20 will always be sitting in the activity, the original. Let's see if we can get these deleted. Now, another thing that you can edit is the caption at the bottom. We have pre-recorded ourselves reading the instructions for every slide right over here. So now you have say your words. Right here is how I recorded the instructions for the slide. You can leave my recording or you could delete that and give a specific instructions to your students. I'm just going to leave it. So now I just have the one slide here on the side. I'm going to hit the green check. Now, this is just say and type spelling words. It's just the one slide. I have my instructions. And now I'm going to save this. So now if you go back to your library, you'll see that here, the word work for any spelling list, this one is still my master. And this one still has all 20 slides with all 20 instructions. I'm never going to edit that one. I'm going to leave that as my master. But every time I want to add a, just assign one activity, you edit the master, copy it to make just the one activity. Now I can assign one activity to my class. And now when they get it, here's their assignment. It's just the one slide. Let me show you one more quick time. Now in my library, I have say and type spelling words as one activity. Here is my master. If I want to assign a different activity for my students, again, I'm going to hit the three dots, copy and edit. I can change the title now. Let's say this one is going to be my rainbow writing. I'm going to leave this instructions and the recording of it. I'm going to edit these. And now I can delete this page. If I would like, I can change the caption here. Now I can go through and delete all the slides that I do not want to assign to my class. Quickly get through all of them. Just wanna get through all of them so you can see what it looks like if you have two of them and then my master that will still be sitting there.
There's really not a faster way of doing this. It will not just let you hit the delete button. We're almost there. All right, here's just my rainbow words. I'm going to leave the caption. I'm going to hit the green check. I've changed the title. I'm going to hit save. Now here is my activity that I can assign to my students, just the rainbow writing, assign it to my class, and I will show you what the library then looks like. So now my library, I have this one here that is the original with all 20 activities. Here's just the say and type spelling word activity. Here is just the rainbow writing activity. I hope that tutorial helped so that you know how to edit the activities and assign the number of activities that you prefer to your class each day.